Okay, so with just looking at your external anatomy, you should be able to pick out the difference between the tentacles and the clubs. So how do you know the difference? There's one big difference if you look at them. Well, the clubs are longer. Yeah. All right. Now, you ought to be able to, you can poke around a little bit on the suction cups. Now, obviously, they're not going to suction because this guy's dead, but you can look at them a little bit more closely. Um, they do look like a bunch of little acorns. Now, what I would like you to do is to kind of hold him up like I'm doing here, and then you can pull the tentacles and the clubs off to one side and you can actually see the mouth. So if you pull it in there, you can see his mouth. Again, like I said, don't say anything stupid while I'm recording. All right, you ought to also be able to stick your probe in there and actually feel something hard and that's actually gonna be the beak, which we will um, actually, you can hear it clicking right there. We will actually expose that a little bit later. Maybe we should have gotten out the bigger trays. Okay, so also too, this whole structure up here is the mantle. The mantle has two lateral fins at the end. So mostly for allowing the squid to change direction quickly. Now, we're gonna do something. Um, grab your scissors. We're gonna cut the tentacles and the clubs off just to make this a little bit easier to fit. Yeah, just as close up to the top as you can. We're just going to remove the tentacles and the squid uh, and the clubs so that it's a little bit easier to work with. Anybody else like want some calamari? I was trying to be funny. It didn't work, apparently. Is this where it comes from? Yes. No. All right. Yeah. I did good. You did good. All right, so now that it's now that it's gonna sit a little bit easier on, on the tray, there's some other things that we can look at. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. There's some other things you can look at. Um, one is the actual siphon. Now it might be a little bit scrunched up, but it'll be at the side of the head. And that is actually, that is where the water shoots out. That is where the ink gland ejects from. Um, and you ought to be able to stick your probe in there and it'll go up into the body. So right, yes, right there. Yes. So put your probe into it. It's open. It's got there's a hole. Nope. No, no, no. Um, in there. Yeah. No, right here. Oh. All right, everybody found the siphon, yes? yes? Okay, so, scissors. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay, you're gonna be sure that your squid is laid down so that you're gonna see, you're gonna see this point of its head all the way up. So we want the fins to be laid down. And then you're gonna cut just yeah. above the siphon all the way to the tip up here. So from down here, you're gonna cut all the way up. So be sure that you're not cutting into an organ. So you may need to this hold this up. Color? What? Why is this pink? Because these have been injected. I paid a little bit extra so that we could have the injected ones. All right, so what am I cutting? Okay, so you're cutting. Actually, yours has already yeah. been cut. So just cut like yeah, here and then up here. Too. Yeah, I think, they, I think they all have been. What did they inject them with? It's a type of latex um, so that you can see where the blood is. And you know what? Actually, I am going to cut the lateral fins off because they're getting in my way. Um, and you can do the same if you'd like. How far do I cut up? Um, as far up as you can. Which 
no like organ stuff in the top, right? Like no, top. no, but uh, we might be able to see the pen. Say we can cut these fins off. Yeah. Yes, I, I cut mine off so that it would lay down a little bit better. You got it? Almost. Almost. Try not to mess anything up. Yeah. Poor squid. He died so that you could learn. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. All right. These things stink. <laughs> Actually, this this one is not was not as strong as the other one that we did last week. All right, and also too, I went ahead and cut up here and removed this whole section just to make sure that it's out of the way. What are you removing? So what I did was I cut down along here to remove this, and you can remove the flap that way. It'll you don't have to do the dissection pin. Skin is tough. Yeah. Is this stained? It is, and you'll notice that it stains the inside of the body. Yeah. And what do you think those big pink things are? They're full. If they're blood. Gills. They're gills. Oh, You're so smart. <laughs> Both of those flaps need to go. Or? Yeah, I would say so. Well, just to get them out of your way. And that basically the entire thing that you're cutting out, that's just the mantle covering over the body. So you're not really cutting through any major organs. Like that? Very good. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> now, some other things while you're waiting for your classmates to get to this point, you can also obviously look at your concise diagram. Um, you're going to look at the inside portion of it. Well, you can look at mine. You're supposed to take it out of the sleeve. And you can look at different components. You can try and determine if you have a male or if you have a female. Where's the difference? So the male is going to be this structure right here, and then right, this is the female. Is so sometimes thing? we get lucky and we find eggs. This is definitely a male. Usually we get males. We very rarely do we ever get females. So squishy. So we won't give eggs. No, I don't think there's anybody. I don't think. I think we all have. I think everybody has a male out of this group. Yeah. All right. So if you remove the flap, you should be able to see on the mantle where it kind of looks like it's been stained. So that is directly from the ink gland. So the really dark gland that you see here right on top, that is going to be the ink gland. Um, the pink we've already discussed, those are the lungs, obviously. Um, oxygen exchange. Don't don't freak out on me right now. <laughs> okay. It, do, it does feel weird. Um, what I will say is, why don't you try to remove a lung and then you can look at, look at it a little bit more closely. And again, you should just have to use your scissors, but it will tear very, very easily. You crying, Sierra? No. <laughs> okay. So here's the lung. Um, again, it's very delicate. It's very similar to the clam lung. It's a little bit bigger. Um, and like I said, these ones have been dyed so that you can see where the blood actually comes from. And this is just a little latex material. Actually, that's just a piece of a suction cup. It should not be there. All right. So this is one side. Obviously, we have two sides to this. And you'll see one long vein extending up the back side of it. Excuse me while I talk to the camera. <laughs> Oh, don't be a wimp. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad. 
Okay, so we have decided that I think everybody has a mail. Do I need to open a window? No. Not a whim. Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> All right, so the next big structure that we have in here, besides the ink gland right underneath it, the biggest structure that these squids have is their liver. So right underneath that, so this big squishy organ right here is going to be the liver. And then some of the other organs up here, so like the gonads, the heart, the gill heart, all that kind of stuff is up here in the top. So what you can do is if you would like to cut into the ink gland and you can actually feel the little granules in your fingers, um, you can continue using your scissors, but I'm gonna use the scalpel to open it up because it'd be faster. Is that the really sharp thing? Yes, that is the really sharp thing. It does, and if you remember, this chemical is called sepia, all right? And it is kind of, it's kind of granular, it's kind of grainy. Um, depending on species, it sometimes can have a little bit more of a sheen to it. People actually harvest squid ink for squid ink pasta. It's a delicacy in some countries, not this particular species of squid but it is harvested out of the live ones. Now, when it's live, it's less grainy and it's more fluid. What's the orange stuff by the... I don't got no orange. Did I cut into poop? You're always into poop. Oh, you cut into the liver. Oh. Yeah, you cut a little too Man. deep, you cut into wow. the liver. What is that? It's the liver. What's in the liver? The well, liver. The liver is mostly used as like a sponge to get toxins out. Not sure. You've had a lot of ink in yours, isn't it? Yeah, Katie's was probably one of the bigger ones out of this group. So, let's see here. Um, let's go. Let's go underneath the liver. Um, oh, it's is it the ink sac? Is it that? Yeah, it's the ink sac. It may, but yeah, it may have been still some of that stuff. But it, you may have also cut into the liver. So let's try to go, let's go under this, under this whole structure. So I'm going to hold it up and actually cut like this. Can I take out my other long? Crap, I cut into it already. Um, yes, you can take out your other long. I was going to try to expose the pen, but I already broke it. Can we cut off this other end of it? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so I already cut into this structure, but you can try to remove it. I have exposed part of the internal shell, which we call the pen. If you want to come take a peek at mine real quick and then go back to yours. Um, it should be one solid piece, but I, like I said, oh, I broke it. We were just yeah, yeah, this is part of the pen. This is the internal shell and is very, very delicate. Um, I've never been able to get one of these out completely intact. But, um, but yeah. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of an internal shell, kind of like a, it gives just a little bit of form to the squid. Where the heck you see that at? Like I said, it's right underneath all the, the main body parts. There, I got a piece of it. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. All right, so this is the pen, well, part of it. Um, it's kind of like a feather. It was very, very delicate. But you'll see that that pin extend, it'll extend all the way up to the tip of the lateral fin at the top. Dang, this thing is long. Mm -hmm. And it does taper off at the top kind of like a, like a feather would. I want to get this thing out. You said you've never gotten it out before? Well, I've never gotten it out intact. They always oh, break. I broke it. They always break. Yeah, a piece of it. Ooh. 
Also remove this, this other lung. Good. There's the other lung. It does kind of feel like plastic. You got yours out mostly intact. Good job. <laughs> I almost just stabbed myself. Well, probably not a good idea to do that. There is the continuation of the pen a little bit further up there into the top. Walker, I almost got it. You can see it going all the way up. Broke twice. This is part of the gonad. Obviously, this is a male, so we don't have any eggs, unfortunately. And then if we turn the body over, we can see the start of the stomach. We can see some of the gill veins that are going back and through the rest of the body. So any, anywhere you see pink is a vein or some kind of an artery that is carrying the blood. Okay. All right, so one other thing you guys can be looking at, you can look at the eyeball. That liver smelled awful. <laughs> oh, no, I broke it. Where's the eyeball? It's in the bottom part of the body. So... It may have receded a little bit. Mine's right here. But there's also, there's, I mean, obviously there's two on either side. Wait, is this oh, that's really greasy. Yep. Gross. Yep. I might get it out. As soon as I pull it out, it snapped in half. Aww. Uh. Is it that's the eyeball? I think so. Yeah. I just Let me see. The eyeball out. Yeah, you popped the hard part of the eyeball out. Well, one of the eyeballs. Some kind of partially digested food particles right there. Probably another type of squid or some kind of small fish. Nice. I got poop in mine. No, it's not got to the poop stage. It's still undigested. It's still working its way through. Pretty much poop. All right, and then the last thing that if you want to look at, you're probably going to have to dig around for it a little bit, is the beak. Which, if you remember, the beak is here in the very center of the tentacles. You will have to cut probably above and below it to get to it. But it's very sharp, so please be mindful of your fingers. I cut my veins too short to get We're going to cut it out? You can cut it out, yes. Something just squirted out. Oh, your fingers. Okay. I'm pretty much popping a pimple over here. I don't know how far the beak goes. Like well, I'm about to remove mine, so just sit tight, and I will show you roughly how big it is. Okay. I think I'm feeling it with my hand. So, there is the beak. Hold on, get this focused. So, it's very sharp, and it's very much like a bird beak. Oh, yeah. It's very muscular, and this tube coming out of it is actually the um, part of the esophagus. But this whole thing is very, very muscular. Um, if you could feel it, it's very hard. And it is essentially used to um, crush whatever food it's it's bringing into its mouth. Is it black? Yes. There's no hands here. Oh, it's a little How did thing. you get to that? Okay. It's like right so what, there. Yeah, so what I did was that I took my scalpel and I cut straight down and then I just pried this open. You're going to have to show us. Oh, so. Yeah, so what I did was I took my scalpel and I cut straight down and then I just pried it open. But yeah, it'll be one big Ooh. muscular piece. I found and it. And it'll have, I know this is kind of the esophagus coming out of it. Ooh. Yeah, but it's very sharp. So if you be I mindful. thought that was, I thought the black part was just the beak. No, it's got, it's a two part, it's a two part beak. Oh. Yeah. 
Because you have to have two parts so that you can crush like the little snails and other what else. I doubt it, but it's wrapped up in a shell. Yeah. Mm. That's like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very sharp. But it has to be because they're going to be crushing, you know, smaller clams, um, maybe even smaller squids. So just to give you a good visual, there is an eyeball right there. And then we also have the second one right here, which these have, these don't usually survive very well when we come to the uh, preservation um, mentalities. So... But like I said, here's a up closer version of the ink sac, and it is very much very kind of granuly type structures. And like I said, the majority of this here is liver, um, all of our organs, uh, gill heart, and all that other kind of stuff is up further here and the closer to the top of the head. And then on the mantle, you can see here's the scar from where the pen was, and then that extends all the way up. And so there's a piece there that I didn't even get out. So, and that is essentially it um, for this dissection. I'm sorry that you couldn't be here to um, to do this with us, but hopefully you'll be here with the next one.